All right, it's March 20th. I wanted to shoot a real quick video. Um, we just started grazing three days ago on the uh, new growth this year in this field. What I did is split the field into six sections, all of about two and a half acres a piece. Some might be a little more, some might be a little less. Um, they've completed their first section which this was section one you can see where it was uh grazed and we did get about three inches of rain in those three days so they didn't tear it up too awful bad but they didn't tear up some so we'll have to see how that first section is going to recover this is the second section that they're in where they're at currently um, you can see the grass is just now starting to form a tip. So it's really not a not a lot out here, but there's more out here than there is in the hay bales. So they're going to be here. Now I do have dry hay up there in the front section where the uh, sage grass is really bad up there. I've got one in a bell ring and one outside of a bell ring just so that they can have something extra to snack on so that they're not getting strictly green grass when they go up for water. I'm hoping that they swing by and need some dry hay. Um, pretty much it's what I wanted to show you, but you can definitely tell the grazing stripe of where they were at for three days but with three inches of rain too. And I moved to that fence. There's an electric fence up next to the park over there. And I moved it a lot closer to the barbed wire fence so that they could eat more of the stockpile that they never even touched over the winter. So, I'll show you, drive over there and show you the cows. All right, I drove over here to the cows. As you can tell, even though we had three inches of rain, mud is not an issue. The last three days they've been over there on that grass. None of these cows have mud caked to them. So it's a good way to uh, keep your cows out of the mud is doing this rotational grazing. Doing fine out here. It's a little steer calf. His nickname is Rocky. Because he was born on the rocks. There's a rock pile back up in that fence row. He was born last year and uh, he was frozen to the rock pile. Almost dead. We ended up saving him out of the bathtub. Putting him in the bathtub, putting blankets on him. The electric blanket. Warm, warm towels. We got him revived, got him back out here. Did sell his mother, so we don't have his mother no more. But, but as you can see, these cows are uh, enjoying this green grass. And I think the, the dry hay, like you can see that right there, the dry hay is very, very beneficial in the first parts of spring. I'm not seeing, see a little puddle in that. But they're not scouring to death. The so-called green grass squirts, they're not having. 
so there's Shorty and Shorty's little heifer calf way in the back. I'm not going to walk down there. I'll zoom in though. They're all the way in the back. So anyways, I just wanted to uh, shoot a quick video and show you guys where the herd is. And right now they're going to be in this section for three days. It's Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'll probably move them in the next section Sunday so I can avoid so I can avoid uh, doing it on a Monday night after I get off work so I'll probably do it uh, Sunday night move them in the next section and I'll just keep moving them across and we'll see what the regrowth looks like after uh, they get across we have uh, I can't remember now. Seven sections, I think, now is how I'd roped it off. So if we have seven sections and they stay in each section for, we'll say, four days, that's 28 days of regrowth. So minus the four days, if they were on there, this would be 24 days. They won't go back to this same section for three weeks. So, which is uh, not as long as. I would like, I'd like to be able to do 35 or 40 days, but a little bit of land and too many cows and that's where I'm at. So, till next time, thanks for watching.